William McDaniels was one of the original pioneers of Breckenridge County, and where the town of McDaniels got its name. McDaniels was with Captain William Harden, John Jolly, Christopher Bush and Sinclair when they came to Breckenridge County in 1779. When John Bruner and William McDaniels first came to Harden S. Fort, they brought their wives, an African-American slave, and a baby, and their possessions down the Ohio River by flatboat to settle in Breckenridge County. The Bruner and McDaniels flatboat was tied up just below the falls of Sinking Creek. John and William went to Harden S. Fort to get some assistance, and as soon as they were out of sight, a small band of Shawnee warriors attacked the Bruner and McDaniels flatboat at the falls of Sinking Creek. McDaniels jumped into the Sinking Creek in an attempt to escape, but she drowned instead. Along the trek towards the Shawnee village near Fort Vincennes, Indiana, the Shawnee killed the black slave. Jolly wasn't he traveling fast enough, the Shawnee warriors took it from her, split the overhanging branch of a tree, thrust the child's hands through the crevice, and leaving it dangle, made sport of shooting it to death before its mother's anguished eyes. Other reports say that the Shawnee warriors stabbed her in the thigh with a knife, and scalped her, the same time they killed her baby. After several months of living in captivity in the Shawnee village, the soldiers of Fort Vincennes managed to rescue MRS. Bruner, and aided her return to her husband in present-day Breckenridge County.